Yo, you wanna know how to do this, right? On your phone, yeah? Okay, yeah, let me show you, let's go. So, you guys wanna know how to make this crispy setup on your phone, and I'm gonna show you how to do it, but before we do that, just there's several, two really important things that I kinda need to tell you. Number one, you want this wallpaper, it's linked below. Just go into the description, hit the link, and you're gonna get this wallpaper. It goes really well with this setup. It adds this really home, minimal, clean look. Secondly, you want a Nova backup file so you don't have to go through every single step-by-step -step instruction. That's also linked in the description below. So head to the description for all of that information. Anyway, so most importantly, you're gonna need Nova Launcher, and you're also gonna need Nova Launcher Prime if you want one specific feature, which we'll get into later. For the widgets we're gonna use, you need iOS widgets for KWGT, and then for the icons, you need iOS 15 white icon pack. You need KWGT also for the widgets, and you need KWGT Pro, which is unfortunately paid. So is Nova Prime. But Nova Prime is optional, and we'll get into why later. But open Nova Launcher, do the first thing in the settings, you know, you can choose light theme or dark theme, choose light theme, and that is about it for now. You can also choose your main search engine, which would be Google and Play Store, and then you can choose what kind of shows up on that bar there. For me, I just kind of wanted the Google logo and the Google Assistant logo, and that was about it. That's it. Open Nova Launcher, and the first thing you're gonna do is just remove everything from the home screen. Just clean it up so we have a clean slate to deal with. Once you've done that, hold the home screen, go into settings, and then go into the home screen settings. If you find this video too fast at any point, just slow it down or press pause. But now, we're gonna go into the desktop grid, and we're gonna make the grid seven by four. Then go into icon layout, max out the icon size, and switch off the labels. Then you want to go into the padding and make it large by about medium towards the end of large though. Once you've done that, scroll into the search bar placement, make sure there is none, and then scroll down to the page indicator and choose the three dots. Make sure the dots are white, so choose the color, and then make sure the color is E6, E6, E6. Once you've done that, press the tick and it should be done and then go into the dock. Enable the dock and then go into dock icons and choose four icons. Choose the icon layout. You want it to match the desktop size with no labels and then choose the padding to be large by large. Now, once you've done all that, head into dock background, which is right at the top and then make sure every single corner is selected as round. So just go through each single one, go to the drop down and make sure it's round. And then to choose the degree of roundness, make sure each and every one of them is 60%. Once that's done, tick padding, which is right above the corners and then choose the background color. So hit that circle and then go into that button in the bottom right and then choose the color to be E6, E6, E6. Okay, this is the color we're gonna be using for most things here, which gets a very nice kind of like subtle white color. Now, before we continue any further, go to the main settings and select the default launcher to be Nova Launcher so it treats this as the main home screen. Then head back into the main settings and now we are done with the home screen, head into the app drawer. We're going to set the app drawer grid to 6x5 and then we're going to head into the icon layout and untick match desktop size and set the size at 130% and disable the labels. We don't want labels. Once you've done that, scroll down to the background color and make sure the background color is, you guessed it, E6, E6, E6. And then finally for the app drawer section, scroll down to the scroll accent color, choose the color this time it's not gonna be white, we're gonna make it a black color, which is 0A0A0A. Press set, and there you go. And that's us done for the app drawer, so just head back into the main settings. Then head into the folder settings, head into Windows Style, and set it to Immersive, then go into the color, and we're gonna make the color E6, 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 because this off-white color goes really well with the white icons, so you can still see the white icons. Then head into the corner radius and set it at 32 dp and then head into the grid and we're going to set it just like ios to three by three and make sure the scroll is horizontal and i'm going to untick show folder name now we're going to head back into the main folder settings and you will find that there is another option called 
icon layout. We're gonna go into icon layout. We want it to match the desktop size and untick labels. Then we're gonna go into folder icon appearance. We're gonna set it to line. Make sure it's adaptive. Keep the transparency at around 40%. And that is it for the folder settings. And you can just kind of make your way out of that back into the main settings. Now we're gonna go into the search bar and we're going to search for google discover this should come up click on it and it will lead you to a link to download nova google companion click on the link on this website allow and make sure you download the folder once it's download open the file it'll ask you to maybe change some settings do some permissions or whatever so just allow it to have those permissions and then press install once it's installed you can then open it after it is done loading by simply pressing the open button then we want to make sure the theme is light and we want to set the transition to overlay and that's literally it for google discover so that's a nice little feature there so if we go back to the home screen you'll be able to see it kind of work in there looking very nice very clean now back into the main settings let's head into gestures and inputs now in order to get double tap to search this is the one feature you may need nova prime for and i find it a pretty useful feature so if you want it get nova prime it's you know a one-time investment that you might like if not then don't get it now back into the main settings head into look and feel go to the very top into icon style icon theme and then choose the icon pack that we downloaded make sure it's following the system theme and make sure adaptive icon animation is set and just keep everything else the same now that's it for the settings now we're going to head into the home screen and start customizing so first thing i'm going to use that double tap to search feature to get all the icons i want to put them into my dock so i'm just going to get the main set and then throw them into the dock real quick once you've done that hold on the home screen and you will get an option to see your widgets so just scroll up and you'll find the widgets scroll down to kwgt which we'd recently downloaded and instead of doing what i did which is get a one by one widget and then like enlarge it and spend a long time doing that just get two by two widgets and then do it in whatever format you want to do it in i'm going to show you the format that i wanted to do it in it's just so you know if you are interested in getting this similar format then this is what you do so just keep getting these two by two kwgt widgets and lay them out in this layout if this is what you want once you've done that you want to assign each widget to an actual widget so click on it choose ios widgets for kwgt and then choose the widgets you want go into globals turn off the labels and then increase the size in layers so it is the maximum size do this for every single widget i would you know advise choosing a different widget just so there's like some diversity and then once you've done that go to the home screen and make sure padding is on just by holding on a widget and press padding and then just do this for every single widget now finally we're just going to add in our app icons to fill in the gaps and this is an example why double tap to search is really useful but if you don't have double tap to search you can just open the app drawer and go to the search bar so these are the apps i decided to download i got eight on the home screen and this is basically the final result if you want to do a second home screen this is kind of the layout i went for just going through it really quickly i went through a large widget and then kind of eight eight icons in the home screen as well and then just chose the widgets and that's kind of the result i got so this is this is what i got this is my final result if you like it copy it or maybe you know take some inspiration from it and do your own thing but this is kind of what you would be getting if you do what I'm doing. And that's and that's basically it. I hope you like it and I hope it wasn't too hard or too long. Remember, if you want to, you know, do this more quickly, just get the Nova backup file and you won't have to go through any of these settings stuff. You'll just have to like assign the widgets and that kind of thing. But that's, you know, that's it. I think it looks really, really clean. I mean, look at it. It does look really clean. Very subtle. It's like very simple yet very eye catching at the same time. Very minimal. Anyway, that's it for the video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, 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 please subscribe if you haven't already. And give this video a like and comment for the sake of the algorithm. Check out my Instagram at the Ramil Nagar for a behind-the-scenes perspective and to kind of stay up to date and learn more about what I'm doing and these kind of things. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Salam.